Fans of the Privateer FX. Coming at you from Switzerland here. Eighth day. No, not really the eighth day. Today's the ninth. Ninth day of May. Uh, funny old overnight, gotta say. Starting with our best buddy, uh, Donnie Trump. Uh, let's go to the crude, just so we can rehash how insane that was. Pre-announcement, crude down to 67.62, close to 4% at its lows. Post-announcement, we're hanging around 68.50, uh, all the way back up to 70.40, back down to 69.60. And now we're going to make new highs. Obviously, as you all know, more sanctions on our Persian pals. Still not super clear how this is going to end up for America. And it's one of these FX mornings where we're being pulled in two different directions. On the face of all of this, logically, this can't be good for the dollar. And yet, uh, the dollar's doing just fine. Dollar yen, especially at the fix last night in Tokyo, 2 a.m. Central European time, you can see they jammed this thing <coughs> from 109 the figure up to 109.60. This coincidentally coincided with some merger news. Second day of merger news. Today's merger news was Glassdoor is being bought for 1.2 billion in cash. So I don't know. Could it be that there is pressure to sell yen and buy foreign currencies because of 46 billion sterling yen that has to be bought and 1.2 billion dollar yen that has to be bought over the next God knows how long. Uh, I don't know. For me, dollar yen should be lower. We should be risk off. Um, but we're not. So we're not going to force this. Uh, I'm certainly not going to chase dollar yen higher. Dollar yen really only becomes a buy once we get through this trend line in this 200 day here. Which I do not expect to have. But that said, I'm not fading it either because of all this merger news. Fair but yen has to be sold. And if you're to close your eyes, and sometimes in FX this is what you just need to do, just close your eyes and trade the bars, trade the technicals. Today you'd be buying cross yen. Sterling yen had a flip day yesterday, change in trend, new high today. Euro yen, market that's very short, after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, down days. Printed a nice pivot at 90, yesterday's breakdown. Uh, so you'd be buying Euro Yen at 91. And our old intrepid friend, Swiss friend, Swiss Yen. Incredibly hard to trade Swiss Yen. But again, if I didn't tell you what this was, if I didn't say this was Swiss Yen, let's say I said it was, uh, I don't know, coffee, you'd be like, whoa! That shit be oversold. And look at that bar. You'd be buying Swiss Yen through 20 as well. So, today we're just going to ignore the politics because I don't understand it. And anyone who tells me they understand it is lying. Uh, why are stocks at 2670? Why is uh, the dollar higher? As always, there's a confluence of shit affecting FX, and it's really, really hard to gauge on a practical and logical level. One of the reasons we use technical analysis as the basis of how we trade. We just trade price. Price never lies. Trump lies, Iran lies, Israel lies, France lies, UK lies. Everyone lies except for price. So, that said, let's buy some, let's buy some cross yen today. 
Uh, we're going to wait for a new high in um, sterling yen. We're going to buy euro yen at 90. We're going to buy Swiss yen through 20. We're going to ignore the stock market now. Same strategy as we said yesterday. As we get to figure 20, 2700 to 2720, we will be fading uh, here. We just really don't know. Through the 200 day, we will sell again just to join the join the fun again here we're doing nothing uh, one last chart worth noting is Kiwi we got the RBNZ tonight uh, good chance they've got this new governor Adrian Orr the language is going to change just a little bit um, because their focus is going to shift a little bit towards employment and less towards inflation. So we're not expecting a move in rates, but we are expecting a marginally more hawkish statement. And for a market that's pretty short, this could, be, uh, this could create a little money-making scenario. I don't mind buying low ones today in uh, Kiwi to try and get a core long going into the RBNZ with the idea that we're probably going to be around 68, 85, 90. So if you can have some, if you can have some Kiwi between 60 and 30 on the downside, you might be able to get a sort of free leveraged trade out of this with a stop loss at break even. Um, so this is another little idea for all of you out there. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. We're buying cross yen even though we don't think it's risk, risk on. And we're buying kiwi even though it's massively offered. How do you like those apples? Talk to you guys later.